Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news of Ashuruq TV. Today's headlines include Sudan friends donate 460 million euros in support of Sudan. Sudanese negotiation in Juba extended until reaching peace agreement. COVID-19 cases in Sudan reached 1,164. The Sudan Federal Minister of Finance and Economy Planning has announced that the European Union decided extending package of financial support to the government of Sudan amounting to 460 million euros as encouragement to revitalize the economy of the state. However, the friendly states of Sudan has held a video conference on Thursday to discuss ways of boosting economy in Sudan in participation of 23 countries and international organizations. The Sudan-friendly states have agreed to convene general conference regarding funding Sudan next June in Paris to make comprehensive economic reforms in the country, especially the basic commodities. South Sudan mediation for the Sudanese peace talks has announced the extension of the negotiation until the files presented in the negotiations are completed and the comprehensive peace agreement is reached. In an official statement, the South Sudan mediation pointed out that the extension came in response to the party's desire to complete the negotiations and their seriousness to reach a comprehensive peace agreement. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced the registration of 53 new coronavirus pandemic infections in addition to five fatalities on Saturday, May the 9th, 2020. The new infections were registered as follows. Khartoum State 42, Godari 5, North Kordofan 4, North Darfur 1 case, South Kordofan 1 case. The Federal Minister of Health, Dr. Akram Ali Tom, has announced the ministry's trend to open the health and primary health services centers in the residential quarters and the private clinics, adding that the ministry will issue directives in the coming hours for reopening the private clinics while adherence shall be given to the combat of coronavirus. At the media platform for combating corona pandemic, Dr. Akram stressed that the Ministry of Health considers the private clinics a major supporter for the government and public health units, adding that the private sector is regarded as a key supporter of the public health sector. He stressed the importance of keeping the private clinics open to provide medical and health services for the disease other than the corona pandemic, adding that the decision to open the private clinics aimed to avoid accidental death as a result of diseases and to provide treatment for the emergency cases that are unrelated to the COVID-19. The first Vice President of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Mohammed Hamdan Dagalu, received in his residence the head of the UNAMID mission in Sudan, Jeremiah Mamambolo, in presence of the Director of the World Food Programme in Sudan and the resident coordinator of the UNDP. In a press statement, the head of UNAMID mission said that the meeting has discussed a number of issues of mutual concern between the mission and the government of Sudan, renewing the mission's solidarity to confront the corona pandemic at this critical stage of the spread of the disease. We came here uh, to just see the General uh, Excellency, uh, General Dagolo Amit, Emeti. Um, really just to seek guidance uh, on a number of issues we always discuss, uh, particularly those issues that relate and talks to us about the manner in which we can be of assistance um, to um, the transitional government of Sudan. And so in that context, of course, it was really just to renew our, our solidarity and our support to Sudan in these difficult times, uh, the times of COVID-19. And we're very happy that we had a receptive ear from the, uh, the, 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 the general here to have a receptive ear for, um, for us to be able to put on the table some of those issues in which we can be helpful to the transitional government of Sudan. Um, as a United Nations, uh, 
body that works with, uh, with Sudan on many other issues. And that, that also, uh, of course, particularly in my occasion, I also were able to raise some of the issues of challenge that we deal with in the DAFU context, in, in, in DAFU as the head of UNAMIT. And so really indeed this was uh, just a short meeting, a courtesy call to the general uh, for us to be able to discuss as United Nations with the general and seek guidance on a number of issues and we will continue to be interacting with everybody. The Coordination of Resistance and Change Committees and Services in Libya Market denied news reports carried out by some social websites that the Libya Market traders broke the decision of the curfew issued by the Higher Committee for Health Emergencies. The Coordination Committee's new statement issued affirmed the Committee for Change, Services and Honest Traders is committed to all the requirements of the higher interest of the state and they will be a supporter for all government directives and decisions issued by the authorities. The statement expressed full support to the health directives issued by the state is to protect the citizens. The acting wali of Kassel State Major General Mohammed Babikir Hamid issued a statement on the incidents took place last Thursday between the Nuba and Bani Amir tribes in Kassel that resulted in a number of injuries and loss of citizens' property. Hamid explains that the incidents were contained at the time with the intervention of the security forces in the state, but these events renewed on Friday morning and resulted in injuries and burning of houses. The State Security Committee expressed regret over the events that occurred in the holy month of Ramadan and the country is facing a major health crisis. The second commander of the Rapid Support Forces, General Abdurrahim Dagalu, affirmed that the state dignity is preserved at all areas that have witnessed disputes, including the recent dispute between Falat and Rizigat, tribes in South Darfur State. In a press statement from inside Toulouse Town, 150 kilometers southwest of Niala, General Dagalou pointed to the return of security at the area thanks to the role of the armed forces, the rapid support forces, the police and the central reserve, adding that advanced forces is being sent to the areas of Buram, Katila, Intakena and Idel Fersan to achieve full covering of the whole area. Now we remind you with the headlines. Sudan friends donate 460 million euros in support of Sudan. Sudanese negotiation in Juba extended until reaching peace agreement. COVID-19 cases in Sudan reach 1164. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you and see you next time.